make sure the camera's on here. Hello everybody, it's Chad. Um, first off, first thing I want to mention to you and then we'll take a step, a walk outside here. Um, China's first precious metal spot exchange uh, opened in Silver City today, or uh, this week on Tuesday. Um, I'll just take a few bits and pieces out of this. I'm never too popular about reading articles to people. I just like letting them uh, look at on their own. Um, it launched with a total investment capital of uh, 260 million yuan, or about 40.2 million dollars. Um, the exchange will offer long-term electronics transactions, including spot trading, precious metals, and products, and raw materials, and spot deferred transactions up to 18 precious metal products. Um, also, the goal of the exchange is to achieve a total trading volume of one trillion yuan, or about 155 billion dollars in today's terms, right? <laughs> because uh, once the uh, Chinese uh, decide to uh, revalue. Uh, their currency, which I think they may end up having to do, um, obviously that gap's going to be much wider. And this is by 2015, their projections are, so obviously something's going to probably happen before then. Um, and then the exchange will contribute 1 billion yuan in taxes per year with this uh, schedule and exchange general manager during the open ceremony uh, said that he, his projections are on that. Um, the last little bit of this article I wanted to mention real quick, and we'll move on to something else, is um, the Zhong, Zhongying County is known as the silver capital of China um, because of its abundant silver reserves. Uh, it accounted for one-fourth of China's total silver production, producing 2,050 metric tons of silver. Um, the last sentence, it says, uh, and it goes on to say 7.1 tons of gold and 4,300 tons of bismuth, and 2.6 tons of platinum in 2010. So as obviously it's a very rich uh, uh, country, uh, and that's specific strategic part of that country in China. So um, let's take a walk outside. Um, first off, I um, wanted to talk to you. Uh, today it's just freaking hot around. This is ridiculous. Take a look at this once. And this, this, this is in the shade. I'll show you where that temperature is. This is actually higher than 100 degrees. I'll show you where my, uh, where the thermometer is outside here. Um, I mean, it's just freaking hot out here. This, this is ridiculous. This is my truck, y'all. People that follow my channel have seen my truck before. Woo! It's awful damn hot out here today. Um, oh, I was going to show you that the thermometer thing here. Take a look at this thermometer is right here as you can tell it's in the shade so obviously out you know in the the uh, the Sun here it's just freaking blazing I mean I know a lot of people in other parts of the country you know especially in southern part of the US you know you, you get hot temperatures like this all the time we're just not used to it up here in the north that's why I live up in the north is because I just can't handle the, t the hot temperatures <laughs> got the air condition going as you can hear behind me um, so the other thing that I wanted to mention real quick is uh, um, the 2000 silver, uh, 2011 Silver Eagle proof, um, there's uh, a quantity of 100 that each customer uh, can obtain from the Mint. They just released them uh, Tuesday, I think, of this week or some, sometime this week. Um, and right now it's the pre-orders for uh, um, the certified ones. I don't, I don't ever recommend for people to get certified and stuff uh, just because today's market's different. Uh, if the dollar were strong, you know, certified stuff would be so-so even then. Depends on what your likability is. Um, I've always been a strong believer in, uh, you know, you want to hold gold and silver for its bullion content, as much ounce weight as you can get. Um, the uh, 2010 Silver Eagle proof sales was about 860000 um, and then, as you know, the 2009 uh, Silver Eagle proofs were not made in 2009. Um, now, I thought this was kind of interesting. I wanted your take on this. Um, the, the premiums on the 2007, uh, 2011 Eagle proofs are up 75%. The premiums are 75%. Man. I mean, that's one reason why you shouldn't own or you shouldn't buy from the Mint or a lot of these... Uh, government issued uh, coinage is because of that fact it's just more expensive you know you want to keep your ounce weight profit margin as close to spot as possible all the time 
I just I could never understand why people wanted to pay more than you should for your bullion. I, I don't know. I guess it's personal preference. Um, and then uh, the total sales for June of this year, 2011, is 3,402,000 uh, silver bullion sales uh, or total ounces uh, purchased just from the mint itself. I mean, that, that's crazy because in uh, June of 2010, their quotes were 3,100,000. So as you can tell, the general public is starting to pick up on stuff that many of you and I already know about. I mean, we've been at this for quite some time. I've, I've been at it a long time, just decided to start making videos about a year ago. Um, actually, now I think about it, I think my one year anniversary for making videos was uh, about a couple weeks ago. So it's kind of cool. Um, I like doing this. Um, let's see, one other thing I wanted to mention too is uh, U.S. Senators Mike Lee, Jim DeMint, and Rad Paul uh, just introduced the Sound Money Promotion Act uh, on the floor. Um, and this would remove the burden of the gold and silver, or remove the tax burden of the gold and silver coins uh, that have been declared legal tender for the federal and state government level. So that's pretty interesting in itself too. Uh, it shows the evolution of the new economy um, and the new uh, monetary system starting to evolve in the United States um, and other countries too I mean it's not just from the United States um, so you know that's interesting because I was just uh, talking with my dealer and the first video um, uh, I was uh, I did go to the dealer um, and he does have quite a bit of gold um, I was surprised I, I would say he probably has maybe 30 ounces or more um, so I had mentioned to him, um, just as an option for my viewers and subscribers on this channel, um, if there was a way that he could set up some kind of payment plan, if, if you were interested and you couldn't you know, find you know, uh, supply in your area, uh, if there was a way he could work out a payment plan with you, if you were interested in something like that. I'm not selling you something, I'm just giving you an option on this channel um, to buy gold and silver. Um, I'm always looking for things that are, that'll make it better for all you too. So. Um, but so I'm still trying to work out something with him if we can set up something I don't know yet um, his premiums are pretty reasonable for his stuff so um, I was surprised that uh, I, I, I didn't think he was would have as much gold and silver left as he did after our purchase as many of you know of some metals that I made uh, earlier in the week but he still has quite a bit so I was surprised with that because a lot of dealers are really strained right now with supply uh, that they have in the shop so um, he did mention that uh, um, there's, he, it seems like the public is not coming in at this point in time to buy gold and silver. Um, he says it's slowed down considerably. So I don't know what that's about. That, I, that's probably just the general public being scared about this recent dip that we've seen. Um, and yes, the deflationary force is starting to come into the market, I think, over time. Um, the next year year and a half i'm just throwing that number out there just kind of what it seems like you know deflationary forces will come in uh, between you know like i've mentioned many different times the debt ceiling um what's the the federal reserve going to do with market it doesn't really have any clear definition of what they are going to do with monetary policies and and political issues so i think that's why you're seeing the stagnant stagnant uh, prices in the, in the marketplace right now is because they're not getting clear definition from them what they are deciding to do um, so I think that contributes uh, to a lot um, in the marketplace why the price actions are uh, you know the way they are um, so I did want to clarify one thing up real quick because uh, I'm on uh, just over nine minutes on this video um, I wanted to clarify something because I got a lot of inquiries about this um, and I looked at my own video and and I didn't clarify very well this is my belief, um, my opinion. Um, everyone's different, um, but I've been pretty accurate with what, I, what I've said so far. If you want to have a long-term uh, perspective, meaning that you don't really care what the price action does in the next year or two or whatever, and you're in it for the long term of this precious metal bull market, then you can buy silver and gold. You know. Um, Yes, prices will probably come down in the short term because of deflationary forces that are probably going to end up coming in the market sometime soon here. Um, 
if you don't want that risk and you don't know what your finances are going to be like in the short term, year, year and a half or so, um, then I would say buy gold because it's more of a stable play at this point in time. And as you can see, confirmation and price action has shown us that, right? Silver had come down because speculation, margin call requirement increases, um, just a whole bunch of different things across the board. And gold, as you can tell, had not moved a whole lot. So that confirms that. So, um, so that's pretty much the dynamics. A lot of people had gotten caught up wondering why the dynamics changed in the silver market, why, why they changed. Um, it had a lot to do with a variety of different things. Um, one of which uh, pushed a lot of speculators out of the market while they increased the margin call requirements. Um, so obviously speculators are gonna get out, take the profits and be done with it. Um, but, so I, I think the dynamics have changed in the market at this point in time. Um, and your risk appetite has a big deal with it, what you decide to do. You're in the long term, do you have the flexibility to be in it long term? You know, what do you decide to do? So um, that's some stuff to consider. So um, if, you, if you need clarification on anything I say in my videos, please message me. I'm, you know, I'm here to help you out um, and give you the best partake that I can do. You know, I'm not no pro or, you know, I've, I've learned a lot just like all you online, um, different uh, influential figures in my own personal life that are very accurate with what they say. Um, we all learn together so that's what it's all about so I'm here to help you and if I got any questions I'll make a video and ask you questions too you know that's what it's all about so I think I covered everything so to next time it's Chad stay in the air conditions it's freaking hot out here <laughs> take care